Hello everyone, my name is Frasonis and welcome to the Arc Survival Evolved Building Tips and Tricks Department. Another video of the advanced PvP building tips and tricks. And in my previous video I've shown you how to make the triple walls on the outside, how to fortify the double layer foundations and the triple layer foundations with the ramps and with the corner pillars. So if you haven't checked that then check that out in the previous video. And I put a link in the description and also, if you press the information button in your screen, then you will get it as well. Well, let's continue on with the inside. On the inside, I'm gonna place a, a protection zone, an extra protection zone. So, you have these three walls here, and then we're gonna have an open gap, and we have another walls on the inside. So, extra protection. So, let's get started with those. <laughs> well, <laughs> I found out I made a stupid mistake with this build. Because I built the triple walls on the outside, then the four walls on the inside, and then I started with the pillars. Well, I have a problem now, because with the fence foundations on the foundations, I have extra snap points for the pillars. As you will see here. Let me show you. This is one. And this is another one. And this is another snap point. So I have three different snap points for the pillars. So that make, makes it difficult to decide whether it's in the middle or not. Because as you can see here, I place one all the way up. And it's not in the middle. It looks like, it, like it's in the middle, but it's not. So yeah, my advice is for you, uh, place the four, wall, four layer walls later. So you don't have the extra snap points. And the best thing you can do is place the foundations, then place the pillars, and then start with the walls. Because then you are always in the middle of the foundations. So yeah, sorry for that. If I uh, messed it up a little bit. <laughs> and to fix this, well, yeah, you have to find out what is the correct pillar. What is the correct way in the middle. So you can do that for example with placing a wall here. And then placing a ceiling. So now you know this ceiling. And this pillar will be right in the middle. And then place the pillar down. Now you know when it's in the middle. As you can see here, it's not in the middle. And that one is also not in the middle. Well, I finished it all the way around. And in a moment I will build them all the way up. But yeah, you can do that as well. But an extra test is to see when it's in the middle. Is when you can't pass through here. You can't pass through this side. So this is the same. You can pass through this. And of course here in the corner is more space. But on this side it's the same. So if an enemy comes in here. And yeah, the, those pillars are placed correctly. Then it can't move. It can only be in this little space here. Just so you know, an extra test to see when a pillar is in the middle. So let's continue and I already placed those walls but now you're going to see how I've placed those walls. Well this is the buffer zone I was talking about. The extra protection zone. And it is protected by four layers of walls. And in order to do that you need fence foundations again and walls of course. So to do that is line up these fence foundation with the nails. As you see here. And this one as well. So you have a small gap in between. And yeah, on the corners you do the same. So you want them to not to line up like this, but to line up with the nails. And then it's simply placing the walls and you start from the inside. So place them on the foundation. Oh. And of course <laughs> you need to check and place them on the highest foundation and not on the lowest. So yeah, some extra tricks to protect your base efficiently. Oh. Place this one up higher. And place this one. Yeah, now it's correct. So you want them on the highest foundation. And then start from the inside. And I build them all the way up. And then you can build them on a fence foundation. That is easier to see. So you can do the same. And I will do the same all the way around. And I finished four laser walls all the way around on the inside. 
So triple walls on the outside, a protection extra buffer zone and four laser walls on the inside. So that's seven layers of walls the enemy has to go through. But I made a mistake and I will show you here. Always be sure to have it on the highest foundation and not on the lowest one. But another cool feature of this four laser walls is they protect each other. So normally when you place a wall all the way up and you demolish one, all the other ones on top will going to be destroyed. But check it out, they will keep on floating. As you can see here. <laughs> so, so that's cool, it's a nice feature, extra protection. And if they come into your base and they gonna break some walls, then you're lucky. So not everything is going to be demolished and you can rebuild pretty easily your base again. And once you completed this, so you completed the inside of the extra protection zone with pillars in the middle and four laser walls. Then we are going to continue on placing the dino gates here. But before we are going to continue building that, we are placing fence foundations here. So along with the nails, same as with all the other fence foundations. And then you are going to place a wall on the fence foundation. So it would look like this. And yeah, place it all the way up because later you can't access it anymore. And then you're going to place the wall on the foundation. And be sure to have it on the highest foundation. And come on. It is the highest but I want it on the inside. Like that, so it's smooth with the wall. And again, build it all the way up. And I build it four walls high because the, oh, the dino gates are four walls high as well. So you can do the same. And then an extra layer of protection just here. So you have triple walls on the outside, triple walls here on the inside and four walls here. And yeah, do the same here. So once you've done that and I've done that, I'll be right back and we're going to place the metal dino gates. And to place the dino gates, we're going to use K mode. And again, I don't know what's the button on the Xbox or on the PlayStation. So write it down in the comments. I don't know yet. So what you want to do is press K on the PC. And then you're in K mode. And let's take it a little bit closer. And you want to line it up with the lines you see on the foundations. So I need to rotate it a little bit to the right or to the left. And let's see if it's correctly now. A little bit more to the right. Just a little bit. So then you're going to walk straight forward and you want to line it up with the wall on the outside. So just almost, I think like that. Yeah, I think this is nice. So it's, uh, I need to turn a little bit to the right. Let's see if that's better. It's there. Yes. So we're going to place them. And just stay in K-mode and select another gate. And as you can see, it is now in the wrong direction. So just move a little bit back. And again, you can only walk st straight forward or back or to the left or to the right. So moving around with your mouse or that kind of stuff, that doesn't matter. So you have it like this and then when it, as soon as it snaps straight behind the dino gate, you can place it. So just like that. And now you have some extra protection. So once they get inside of the extra protection zone, well, they can't get into your base. So let's go and place the doors. Place the doors and yeah, I suggest using keypads for this. So yeah, set the pin code. Let's say one, two, three, four. And place the next door. And of course I go to open it. Place the next door. Set the pin code. So now we are finished with the dino gates. We are going to continue with the ceiling. And first off I gonna build a trap door. And I'm gonna build a trap door on the fence foundation wall, as you can see here. And I'm gonna build one on the normal wall. And I'm gonna build one down there. 
So now we're going to place the ladders and always use wooden ladders. Never ever ever use metal ladders because it on it's only easier for the enemy to get up your in your base. Because wooden ones can be destroyed with explosives. So yeah, if they are going to breach this wall and with explosives then a wooden ladder will be destroyed. So they have a bigger problem. Well the reason for double trap doors is we are going to use double ceilings here. So yeah, you need a double trap door as well. And the trap door here, yeah, is because it's a little bit hard to get up. At least it's for me. So let's place the trap doors. Let's place this one. Let me walk again. Let me show you what I mean. So you open this one. And when you open this one, you can't open the next one. As you can see, it only closes the one that is below it. So what you're going to do is jump, turn around and, and close the trapdoor that is below you. So jump, turn around, press E and you're standing. So now you can open this door, no, open it and you can also open the, the other one. Come on. No. <laughs> yeah, like that. And you can get up. So it's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. And of course, don't forget to set pin codes for your trapdoors so you can open them with the keypad. So again, pl place the ceiling on the fence foundation. Come on, one lower. Yes. And place one on top. So I'm gonna close this part and I'll be right back. Well, I finished the ceilings. It's double layered and I finished the staircase with walls around it. This wall is a single wall, but you can make it as fortified as you like. So now you're done with the ceiling, you want to place walls here on the outside as well, on top of the dino gates. And you can make it also triple walls, like we did there. So before we're going to do that, we're going to place the pillars right here. So place one here, and place one here as well. Otherwise we have the same problem again with the snapping points and the fence foundation. And then you're going to extend here, and of course don't use metal for that, use stats for that, or wood or whatever. But I wouldn't suggest metal because we're going to demolish it. Then you're going to place the wall on the outside. A wall on the in... Oh, no. Not yet a wall on the inside. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to place the fence foundation. And then you're going to place the wall on the inside and on the fence foundation. So, again, it is a little bit tricky. And, oh... Come on, place it on the fence foundation. So you do the same over here. So you have the triple walls also on top of the dino gates. And once you've done uh, placing the walls on top of the dino gates, the, the triple walls, and of course the pillars behind it, you're going to make a wall all the way around here on the inside. And I'm gonna build it with three layers of walls. And y at least use double walls. But yeah, I suggest use triple walls. So I'm gonna do that all the way around and I'll be right back. And I finished all the way around and here on top of the dino gates it's the same thing again using a fence foundation on one ceiling and then you can place triple walls. And the weirdest part is yeah if you place a fence foundation on the ceiling then the wall is going to be the same height as the other walls but if you place a fence foundation on a foundation it's going to be lower. So it's a little bit weird but it works. So you can have triple walls all the way around. Well, that's it for this video. Now you know how to place the dino gates properly. And how to place the walls on top of the dino gates. And how to create the extra protection zone with use of a gap and the pillars. How to place the pillars in the middle of course. And how to place four layers of walls down here. Oh, I forgot a wall I see. <laughs> and how to place three layers of walls on top of here. And how to place uh, double ceilings for extra protection and of course here on the inside you can store some dinos if you want or some other stuff but the most important stuff I wouldn't store it down here I would use it upstairs and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to make a power grid for your outer turrets on the outside and how to make it safe and I also gonna show you how to reinforce the roof so not only have two layers of ceilings but you're gonna have more. So that's for, for the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. And if you have any questions, then let me know in the comment below. 
And if you want to see more of me in the future and you haven't already, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye! Well, some of you asked me if this also works for stone or for wood. Well, the double layer foundation, it works. As I, as I can show you here. So, place your foundation, place a pillar in the middle. And then, as you can see, the foundation will be lower. And you can place the higher one on top. So that works. And it's the same for wood, as you can see here. And you have a double layer foundation for wood. But for the walls, it's another problem. Because that doesn't work. But the one on a wooden foundation, it doesn't snap because it's obstructed. But of course you can make... Oh, let me grab a wooden one. You could make, I think, a triple layer wall. But then with the use of the fence foundation. So then it would look like this. So you can use this, for example, on the inside. Maybe on the outside, let me test it. Yeah, you can also use it on the outside. So that's a way to, to do it. You can make triple layer walls, but yeah, not in the same technique as with the metal.